a judge and usually answer before a plaintiff or a prosecutor. There are charges that are brought against that defendant and his main goal is simply to be declared not guilty. Sometimes a jury gets involved in that but if he can get out without being charged with a crime he considers himself quite fortunate. We find in our account tomorrow of Acts 24 Paul standing before a judge, Felix, and he does more than just defend himself successfully. Paul actually turns the table on the judge, really brings accusations and against Felix. It's a good lesson for all of us as believers, good principles in this text for us to find, because often we find ourselves on the defense where the world is concerned, and when we have Jesus Christ as our supreme judge and the gospel on our side, we have nothing to be ashamed of. We are called to be on the offensive, not on the defensive. And so I hope you'll join us tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. as we see Paul turn the tables there in Acts 24. Also, join us at 6 p.m. on Sunday night as we drill down a little bit on verse 25 and see three particular topics that make the judge tremble. Again, there's great application for us as believers knowing these topics and what they represent as we want to go armed into the world before us. Even before that, I hope you'll join us at 10 a.m. for our adult Bible study as Brother Mike Evans brings an exciting conclusion to our study on the book of Judges. We hope you'll join us in the building, but if you're still not comfortable coming and worshiping with us in that way, you can join us by live stream by going to anchorbaptist.church forward slash live. Regardless, I hope that you'll take advantage of all these opportunities for the Word of God to dwell in you richly.